Okay, so today we have to uh, see that how we can have some shortcuts in MSC admins. So first I have made a cube to just show that how different shortcuts work. So I start with the simplest short shortcuts to show different views. So if you have a capital F key on the keyboard or shift simple F, it gives you the front view. And if you put shift T or capital T, it gives you the top view. And if you press capital R or shift R, it is uh, the right view. And similarly, shift L will give you the left view. Okay. So this is how you can switch between different views. I just take the help of the icon of the front view again to make the video where it was earlier. The next uh, shortcut key which I am going to tell you is uh, the zoom in zoom out. So if just you press Z key and then drag the left mouse button left or right you will see the zoom in zoom out and zoom in. If you want to specifically zoom a portion of the window, you can press W. So it is a window zoom box or window. You just make a window by dragging the left mouse and leave it. It will highlight that region. So this is how you can use the zoom window. Now, if I press simple F, it will fit the whole model into the screen. So this was simple F. So simple F does like this. Zoom in, I have told you zoom out, zoom box. The next thing is fit to view. So uh, I just told you F fit to view as well. After that is the E. If you press E uh, the and then select something, so X, Y plane is aligned with that specific uh, subject. So if I try to zoom it out and I press and I rotate it, like this and now if I press E and I say this so my X Y is aligned with the portion which I selected okay so when we have selected an object the X Y plane will may become aligned with this new subject so X Y plane will have a new definition after E, we have another thing which is capital S or shift S. If you press shift S, it will switch between the wireframe and the solid view. It is doing the same thing which we were doing with this uh, yellow icon. So it was toggling between solid and wireframe. So shift S. But if you simply press S, so whatever plane is out of the screen and you drag it, the view will be rotating about this one. So it is something like we have an axis out of the screen and then it is rotating about that one. Another type of rotation which we can have is we may make it solid first. So another type of rotation is this rotation. You can get this rotation by taking it and dragging it. You can get the shortcut of this rotation by just pressing R. So if I press R and I rotate the view by dragging my left uh, mouse while the left mouse button is clicked, I can see this view. So this is rotate and it is a very useful shortcut key. But if you don't, don't want to rotate something, you just want to translate it. So you will press T instead. So with the T, you can translate things left, right, top, bottom. Okay. And another very useful key is I go back to the front view by shifting shift F. Okay, this is again the front F, uh, uh, front view. Then another very good thing is the shortcut key G. If you press G, so grid can be on and off. So if sometime you don't want to see the grid, you can toggle between the grid on and off by pressing the G key. Then the next key is V. If you press V and then it asks for a, a place where you want to see the icons or yes or no. So if you place, I just rotate it to show what it's doing. You can see if I press V, it is showing the gravity sign and the local coordinate system there. Okay. So when I press again, V, this is off. So I'm pressing again V and V, I'm pressing V again and again. So it is toggling the icons. When you will be making the connections and different joints, there will be many different icons showing. 
so these icons will hinder your view so if you want to avoid these uh, icons and you want to see clearly how the model looks like you can use this key the next key is the dynamic depth key so dynamic depth key is used by click uh, by just the pressing key d on your keyboard so this is the dynamic key depth view so you see i just when i click d show me this icon and i drag the mouse up and down to show this actually this works only when you are having the perspective view of the model so perspective and orthographic are two different types of views in drawings orthographic is that you the engineers particularly use such designs in which the all parallel lines remain parallel and perspective is in which you see something if you are watching it from distance at a distance as a viewer or we are with a camera so this is the perspective view and if i press d it is showing uh, this is not the uh, this is orthographic projection that's why it is giving an error because this depth only works in perspective you know it is perspective view and if i press d i can see that how it is exaggerating the things that how it will look like where i am watching it okay so depending on where how uh, i define the drag uh, the depth of the perspective it moves on it changes okay the next uh, another uh, option is view center so if you just press c key then it will ask you what is the specific point which you want the center of the window now if i take now this should be the window center so this will be taken as the uh, center of the window okay so if i say no this is not the center i press c again c key and then i look for this point and this is now the center of the uh, window so this is how you can change the center of the uh, view okay so the the new center of the view is defined by this view center and if you want to terminate it you will just click the right button whenever you want to avoid some command just click uh, just uh, key press the key escape or right click okay so that's it for the shortcut keys you can have a look on these shortcut keys uh, uh, some of the shortcut keys by uh, doing right click on the blue window you will see this list these are many shortcut keys i have already told you but there are many other which are not there in this list i have told you by my own experience so that's it for today do like comment and subscribe and give me a feedback which will help me improving the future videos thank you